Hey guys, right before Season 2 launched, 343 told us that we would be receiving cross-core customization during Season 2. Well, there have been some leaks surfacing online, highlighting how cross-core will look in the game. And what's crazy is that it looks ridiculously good. The images I've seen of these Spartans being able to cross-customize their armor, helmets, even their armor coatings just look insane. And I'm showing you guys these images so you can get an understanding of what to expect when cross-core arrives to Halo Infinite, and it should be quite soon. As I said, right before Season 2, we got told that cross-core would be coming to the game sometime throughout season 2 and 343 have quite a lot going on with cross core for this season and I'm going to show you this old clip from Jerry Hook who was the ex Halo Infinite head of design and he told us what to expect during season 2 because you have to remember that this will not be a one and done process first we'll start off simple with the helmets and visors then move to shoulder pieces armor coatings etc and the first iteration of cross core will most likely be coming in the July or August drop pod update regardless here's what you should expect to see as 343 roll out cross core customization this season we are looking to move away completely from the core system. Um, and what that means for season two is you'll start seeing uh, specifically what I would call in canon cores. So, you know, your Spartan five to seven to, you know, whatever we're doing for infinite on a canon perspective. Uh, we're trying to make that ubiquitous. So if you earn a coding, it's usable across all of those cores. Or if you earn a shoulder piece, it's usable across all those core cores. And our focus for season two, not from day one, but as we move through season two, is that your visors, your helmets, your coatings, those will be the first things that we go after. And then we'll slowly try to move everything uh, to be more ubiquitous. It gets a little harder when you take a look at, say, the Yori armor or some of the fracture cores. Um, because they do have just fundamentally different structures um, that not everything fits in. Uh, and uh, so right now we're really taking a look at the cannon cores and leaving the fracture cores um, to their own right now. It is great news that 343 are moving away from the armor core system. I think we can all agree that that's the right move and being able to create your own unique Spartan will be so damn cool because Halo Infinite's armors, helmets, visors look absolutely incredible. So I can't wait to mix and match them and create a badass Spartan. Of course, as to be said that this was something that should have been done from the start. However, they wanted to go the armor core route because that would make them more money. But thankfully, the Halo fans fought back and we've managed to get 343 to change it so that we're going to be able to customize our Spartan just like you could in Halo 3 and Reach. Now as I've been saying we should expect to see cross core come in quite soon. Being realistic I'd have to say that this month is focused on co-op and next month for the August drop pod update I'd expect to see the start of cross core customization. It actually could happen this month but I don't want to get your hopes up too much. But I seriously believe we're going to see cross core come in quite soon. And as you guys can see from the Spartans on the screen and the leaks that have been surfacing online quite recently our Spartans will be so damn sick. And I can't wait to see the crazy combinations people come up with and when that releases, that will be such a big W for the game. And I really can't wait for that. Anyway, guys, I will leave it there. If you did enjoy the video, please do drop me a like. And if you want to support me that little bit extra, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it, guys. And with that said, I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good one.